I'm Christina Curry and I'm here at our beautiful Sir Joseph Banks Park with the Deputy Mayor, Councillor Scott Morrissey. We share the community's frustration as locals in relation to the state of the ponds and the amount of duckweed that we've been seeing build up. We do want to reassure residents that Council is continually working to improve the water quality of our ponds while retaining natural habitat for native wildlife and plants. Last year, Council installed a number of aerators to improve water circulation. Council has also thinned out the many smaller casarinas and melaleucas that have sprouted around the pond over the last 40 years and removed weedy tree species to reduce droppings in the water. Duckweed is a naturally forming floating aquatic plant commonly found in ponds and lakes and also frequently added to home aquariums. It is a nutritious and protein packed food source for fish and waterfowls. However, duckweed overgrowth can deprive fish and other plants of light and nutrients, particularly in the man-made ponds like we find here at Sir Joseph Banks Park. Council undertakes duckweed removal on an as required basis, predominantly in warmer climatic conditions. The recent unprecedented rainfall we've experienced has sent additional nutrients into the ponds through overland flow and stormwater runoff. This has caused the duckweed to energise and grow almost out of control here. Mm. And duckweed is one of the fastest growing plants and under optimal conditions can double in size in less than four days. As Councillor Morrissey said, it thrives in aquatic environments en enriched with nitrogen that enters the ponds through wastewater and stormwater runoff. The removal of duckweed is a manual process, as you can see the team behind working through, and will take approximately two to three weeks depending on the weather, although today is a great day. We will continue to monitor the situation and are looking forward to seeing these beautiful ponds restored to their natural health.